Hi friends, in this video we discuss on offset function. How to use offset function properly. Let's start. You can see this data set. Select this cell, write is equal to offset bracket start. First argument is reference. That is the reference cell. If we click on B1, now B1 cell is set as reference point. Enter comma. Now second argument is row. For this we count row from reference point. And reference point is 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4. Enter comma. Now next argument is column. In this case, we select 0 because value is in same column. Close bracket and press enter. You can see this value in cell. Now double click on this cell. Now we change reference point. This time B3. Now row is 4 and column is 0. Count 4 from reference point that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can see this cell value. Now you know the reference argument and how to count row. For column, let's again we go inside formula. If we put 1 in column argument, what value show? Press enter. 0 value show. Why? Because from reference point. If we count 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we can reach here. That is 0 column value. If we put 1 in column 1, we can reach this cell, C7. And that cell is empty. That's why we show 0. If we enter some value in C7, you can see same value in this cell also. And if we put in minus 1 in column argument, press enter. Now you can see this cell value appear. That is 0 column, that is 1 and that is minus 1. Now you know the main three arguments in offset function and you know how to move. Now next argument are height and width. If we put 0 column and height is 1 and width is 1, this value show. If we put row 1, now you can see this first value. Last both argument height and width are for range selection. If we put height 4 and width 1 and press enter, you can see 4 cell values here. If we select row 3 and height 4 and width 1, press enter, you can see this value 0, 1, 2, 3. Height 4 means these cell value show here also. If we put width 2, what happen? You can see same values here, but in next column, in front of these values are empty. That's why it show 0, 0. If we put some value here, you can see this result. Offset function mostly used inside the other formula like in some formula, average or count. If we need last 4 days sales record total on dynamic way because every day sales record update here. We use sum formula. Within this sum formula, we use offset function for dynamic calculation. First we need to reach 
this value for this we write offset function like this select reference count rows column 0 height 1 and width 1 bracket close press enter now you show this value for sum we enter here sum bracket start and bracket close now we know that daily sales record update to cover this we cannot count rows here we use count a formula right here counter bracket start select range and select the range more according to your requirement like this bracket close now for last four days sales record sum enter height minus four width one now press enter you can see last four days sales record sum to check this select these cells now you can also see here these values sum if we enter new record you can see record update automatically you can also check from here you can also find average of last four days five days and six days according to your requirement in the same way i hope you will understand this and practice this offset function in upcoming videos we use this offset function in different situations if you like this video please subscribe and like and give your comments in comment box i will see you in the next video thanks for watching